Hey everyone, welcome to Retro Break Not Live. I'm actually pre-recording this one because for some reason OBS, Twitch, YouTube Live, whatever, decided to mess up the live streams this time. So instead I'm going to do an old-fashioned kind of uh, Let's Play style thing. It's been a while, so we'll see whether I'm any good at this or whether I've just gone rusty over the years. Anyway, today we are checking out the game down there, the camera's flipped, called Metal Walker for the Game Boy Color. And although it says there's a warning here, I haven't actually played this game before, so this is all brand new to me. And I'm very much looking forward to it because people say it's a great game. And I really don't know what to expect. Maybe some sort of Pokemon style robot fighting game. We'll see. So anyway, let's get started. In 21st century, not in the 21st century. In 21st century, the core, a metal which can evolve, was found on an island. Military research on the core began shortly after. However, a terrible disaster destroyed every facility and left the island a ruined, decimated wasteland. All that remained on the island were piles of ruins and rubble. So people named the place Rusted Land. Now 50 years have passed. Da -da -da -da, drama! Nick, run! The Metal Busters are coming! They are evil robots who hurt humans! Oh no. Run while they distract them! Nick, come on! Nick, you're not alone! You have a Meta Ball! You should fight with. Wah! A Meta Ball? Is uh, the Pokemon company going to get involved and try and sue them? Like what's happening with Pal World at the minute. And this looks incredibly Pokemon-like as well. Hey, you're awake! My husband found you lying on the ground near here. And we took care of you. I'm so glad you regained consciousness. So your name is Nick? But what makes you come to a rusted land alone? Or just rusted land? I thought only core hunters came to this island. You're lucky that you have fully recovered. Please meet my husband, he's in the next room. I want to see what this weird thing is first. Picky! That's your friend, isn't it? You should take him with you. You have reunited with Metaball. Is his name Metaball or is his name Picky? Well, either way, he's following me now. That's nice. Do we have a menu or anything? Not yet. We can't do anything at all. I like how her face is literally just two black pixels. I'm glad you recovered. My husband is waiting for you in the next room. Alright, let's go. Her husband has three black pixels for eyes. Wow. Hey, kid. You look fine. I'm glad anyway. I'll give you something that seems to have belonged to you. Can you see the two devices there? I think one of them is yours. So you can take it with you. Do we want green or red? Is this one of those games that came with two different versions, like Pokemon and a bunch of other games? Uh, like Dragon Warrior Monsters. Another game that I've got on the table right here that I'll be recording footage for soon for my video. Uh, I don't know whether Metal Walker came with two versions or not. Someone let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, uh, out of these two, let's go for the red one. That is not brown. Actually, maybe it should look brown? I can't. There we go. If we go into the dock settings and change it to original GBC, I guess it kind of looks more brown now. Yeah, but if you look at it uh, with any modern display, even with that original GBC one, it looks red. So uh, that's, I guess, something kind of showing that the colour scheme doesn't quite look right. Maybe we should desat desaturate it a little bit. Let's try that instead. Maybe that's a bit more true to life without having the uh, without having the scan lines. Let's try it like this instead then. Okay, let's take it anyway. Apparently brown communication device. Nick, how have you been? Wah! Who is this person? Ahem! My name is Professor Hawk. I am the authority on research for the core units. Huh? What kind of relationship is there between such a notable professor and this kid? Tetsuo Kar Kurama? Tetsuo Kurama. This kid's father is my assistant. Nick and his father came to this island to look for the core units. But just after they landed, Metal Busters attacked them and they got separated. Nick, find Tetsuo Kurama, your father. <laughs> Why is he naming my father like that? Surely I would already know my father's name. He'll show, he'll show up where the core units are. If you look for core units, you'll surely meet your father again. Good luck, Nick. 
the transmission has been cut off. There's uh, definitely some interesting translation going on here. You got the communications device to Professor Hawk. Okay. To be able to communicate with Professor Hawk, maybe? Or just to Professor Hawk. Good luck, kid. Alright, here's the communications device we have. Metal Walker. We have scan data. We have item, diary, and exit. So I guess diary is... Okay, it's kind of like your training card, or trainer card with Pokemon. Win rate, camp, I've got no idea what that is. And core, I've got no idea what that is either. But we can save. You can't save in this place! Okay, we can't save. Let's see what else there is. Meta Walker. We have a little robot. And for some reason, when we press down, it makes a weird crunching noise. Nothing seems to happen though. And we also have scan data, which is also empty and items which is also empty. So we have two options, we can go upstairs or outside. Let's see who this is. Do you want me to explain the flip battle? Okay. Random person who's never met me before in their lives. Whose bedroom I just walked into. The flip battle is a battle where you flip your metal walker to something your enemies. I missed that. Now watch. Destroy, I think it said. Okay, weird. I wasn't expecting a battle system like this. Maybe it's not exactly like Pokemon. This is interesting. Okay. Now that, now it looks like Pokemon. But before that, it was like a weird pinball game. See, that's the basic rule of flip battle. Now let's start explain how to scan. You can scan enemies when they get hit with an analyzer. Now watch. I'm watching. Hmm. Scan data of HP 1. Whatever that means. Does that mean it only had 1 HP? See, that's the scan! If you bring the scan data to the junk shop, you'll be able to create capsules. What is a capsule? Let me explain. Okay. <gasps> it's a Pokeball! What's going on? Am I... What? HP 1 has been used. I don't understand what I'm looking at there. If he's trying to explain things to me... He's not doing a very good job. Do you put the capsule down and then throw yourself into it? <clears throat> Try to find out for yourself. Thank you for listening. I'll give this to you as a token of your listening to my explanations. Man, the writing on this is so broken. You got the scan data of Buster Minion. If you bring that scan data to the junk shop, which is on the second floor of the camp in the up direction, you'll be able to buy HP1 capsules. Okay, so we have something in scan data now. What are these names? There we go, we found MB06 B Minion. And that's what he looks like in real life. This metal buster can move quickly. Is that all he's gonna say? Hmm. It did say something else. Not the strongest of fighters, but this metal buster can move quickly. Okay. That's all. And there's a random guy here as well. You can go to the menu screen when you press start. No way. Incredible. Get out of my way! Is this my rival? Hi. How do you do? My name is Emil. Or Emil. Emil Krauser. Let's call her that. The daughter of the president of Krauser. Corporations. I thought Krauser was the country and she happened to have the same name as it or something. I have just arrived at this island today. I'm a novice core hunter. Nice to meet you. This is the first house I have found on this island, but I never expected to see a boy in it. <laughs> okay, apparently on this island, the only people that you get to meet are just girls. Maybe some people would like that. I, I'll present you with an analyzer made by Krauser Corporations. Okay, just because I'm a boy. Cool. Huh? Hey, you don't know what it is? How disappointing. I hate core hunters. They're unintelligent barbarians. This is a machine to scan metal busters. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, she's so blunt. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks for the present. Now she's just going to go and stand next to my bed. I'm Emil Krauser, the daughter of the president of Krauser Corporations. I'm going to stay here tonight. You can thank me. <laughs> what is this? You're looking for your father. I hope you find him. 
This is just making me laugh. Okay, we have the analyzer. Scan and steal things. Where are we? What is this? Weird island. Everything's made of metal. There's a random crane there. And here's a building. Let's have a look what's inside. A man who looks like me runs the junk shop on the second floor of the base camp. Is that... Is that their way of saying they reused the sprite? If you get the scan data from Metal Buster, go talk to him and he'll create a new capsule for you. So what was the point of that guy then? There was no point. How about him? I heard that the accident 50 years ago is responsible for turning this island into a barren land. Yes. So why are you here? Just surrounded by boxes and petrol. You can't interact with anything. Okay. Goodbye. Who lives in a house like this? Whoa, we got a battle! Oh my god, random encounters. Okay, the analyzer just put itself down. What is going on? Are you, what? I'm not pressing anything. This is just happening. Okay. Don't hit the skull, I guess. I'm not using that analyzer, it's just appearing out of nowhere. Am I supposed to try and go over to it? I thought you had to throw the analyzer at the enemy? Will that help? Do I have to try and get the enemy to go onto it? Maybe. What happened? Did he kill himself? I think he just... I think he just went into the wall and died. I didn't get any XP for that either. I think he literally just went into the wall and killed itself. You seem to have been separated from your father! You can just tell that? Just from looking at my one pixel of an expression? Do you miss your father? Yes, very much. You'll know the importance of your parents once you lose him! That's it! Nice meeting you, random guy. This has to be one of the weirdest intros to an RPG I've ever encountered. And the weirdest RPG as well. So am I supposed to, like, do that and then maybe... Oh. Control was disconnected. Uh, it keeps doing that randomly. These 8-bit Doe controllers are so unreliable. I don't know why it keeps happening. I think I'm supposed to try and... Oh, maybe I have to knock the enemy into it. Let's try that. Maybe that worked. There we go. We got Bee Kong. Definitely not Donkey Kong. And we got Pebbles. Oh no, he killed me! I don't know why it went into a battle screen that time. Oh, great start. M ball has been short circuited. Okay, I didn't go back far though, so it's okay. It only seems fine though. Did I get any experience? I don't think I've got any experience at all yet. I haven't got the analyzer thing on this one. So, am I supposed to be aiming for that now? Does that... Oh, right, okay, I think I get it. So, the attacks appear on the level, and you have to go into them. You destroyed the Metal Buster, and they got four experience points. And Scraps worth eight, and B-Tumble had one hammer. Nick got one hammer. Okay, I still don't really understand what's going on. The one who travels in the rusted land should visit this building. Okay. Ooh, there's three people in here. A shortcut to the battle arena. But you can't enter now. You're in the Greenport camp. 
If you move up, you can find the area called the chemical plant. From Sonic, rumours say that there is a core unit in the area, but remember, be careful. When you use a capture one called Napalm, if you get hit with it, you'll be seriously damaged. You can find the HP recovery device beside me. Use it anytime for free. By the way, HP capsules is a must when you travel in the Rusted Land. You can buy some if you bring the scan data of Buster Minion to the junk shop on the second floor. Okay. Not entirely sure what they mean by that just yet. Is this the junk shop? Do you know how to use your capsules during the battle? Press start to go to the menu screen and select item in the capsule selection screen. Move the cursor to the capsule you want to use during the battles and press the A button. I'll guarantee it will have an adventure advantage during battle. I almost thought the uh, the translation there was guaranteed to be so bad that I said the wrong word. You have new scan data? Let me see! Okay, I guess that's some sort of computer. You've got your first scan data. But don't I already have these things? Why do I need to buy more of them? Well, I said that was useful. I guess we can just get one of each. Oh, that one's 50. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, we got some some more or something. And now we're saying something about heading north. Chemical plant or acid lake. They both sound pretty terrible places to visit. So you roll into that. And that's how you can use the effects. And if you want to scan the enemy, then you have to... Okay, it's... where's he going? Oh, right, okay. No, they're going to attack me using that. It's a really interesting battle system. Oh, okay. We can also see what's on the grid as well. Although it said something about being able to press start, I don't seem to be able to do that. Oh, that was HP. I thought that was another one of those hammer things. Right, that's a HP one again. Okay. How does he know to ricochet off the wall like that? And now it just disappeared. I think he just left. Okay. This battle system is so weird. So I guess... Yeah, I guess we go up here. There's someone over there we can talk to. Right, now we have the analyzer. Can I go... I sort of go next to it, don't I? That might work. Come on. Not quite. Ah, but here we can hit... Try and hit him into it, maybe? Yay, there we go. We analyzed it. So now I get whatever weapon was inside it. Hammer. Okay. And now the hammer's on the grid. So if I bounce off the wall, then we can use the hammer. The tumble died. Yay. Does that mean I get more experience? This is such a weird battle system, but I like it. It's very unique. You destroyed the Metal Buster. Got four experience points. And scraps worth eight. Let's see. We have eight experience points overall, and we need seven more to get to level two. So is that two more fights? I just still don't understand how you decide what's going to be put down. Uh, is that good or bad? dangerous. Should I aim to touch that or not? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh my god, no, I should not have touched it. Yikes. Okay, that shouldn't have been touched by me anyway. At least it seems very forgiving. Uh, I should probably save anyway, just in case. Game save, there we go. It seems really forgiving in terms of restarting it, which is good. Don't need to worry about constantly saving or anything. So, do not touch 
Oh, wow. That was easy. We win. We just bounced off the wall a few times. Got free experience for that. Let's see who this guy is. You can jump down from down. I can't jump as I have a lower back problem. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. That just makes sense. Ah, he hit the other one. Oh, he got a HP for it. Was that some sort of trick? Has he snookered me? There we go, we blew up one of the weird Pikachu things. Ow, ow! That did a lot of damage. There's the other one turned into scrap. What does everyone think of this game so far? It's very weird. Has anyone ever played it before? Let me know in the comments below. There we go, we are level 2 now. And scrap's worth 10. We don't get all our HP back though. Gotta kill it in one go. Nice. The extra attack power did something good. You destroyed the metal buster. Oh, I wish you wouldn't have to read that every time you finish a fight. This one's taking a lot more hits. There we go. A weird Bulbasaur thing. Let's call it that. So, can we... How do we, like, heal or anything? Do I have to go back to that house? Or am I just going to die? What was the point of that? What is the AI thinking here? He literally just killed himself! They get a higher power meter than I do. Why is the music going insane? I'm not that low on health. Oh, maybe I am. Was that me dead or him dead? Haha! <laughs> that backfired on you. Right, I'm just next to that house. So, hopefully I can, I can go and save. I got one HP for it, or one XP. So, we can use this machine to heal again. And I guess, is that saying that I'm I'm out of items? I only have one item. Right, okay, so I use up the items and then they go, so I have to go here and buy more. Not sure what that's doing. Now you can make new capsules. Okay, we got something new. We got the hammer one, which is very expensive. We should probably just buy a bunch of these analyzer things for now, because that's what what you use to uh, get the abilities out of the enemies, isn't it? the HP stuff straight away. So hopefully he's going to go into the analyzer. Yes. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. I quite enjoy it. So now we have the napalm bomb as a uh, Another thing that we can use. Oh, we analysed him twice. I wonder what we get this time. Nothing. If it's already been scanned, you don't get anything extra. Oh, that's a bit annoying, so you can't... 
You can't grind to stock up on items then. And he is dead. Or been turned into scrap because you're not allowed to say things die in kids' games. Okay, let's see what my XP is like now. I need 11 more. That will happen soon. I like the fact that it goes straight into the action with this game. There was no long-winded intro or anything. What was that HP? I think. Bubble P. Whatever bubble P means. Oh no. Let's get that then. That should heal me, right? Yep. Fully healed me, nice. And it stops the insane music. Now it's his turn to use the bubble pee. Yay. Oh, maybe I should have tried to analyze him. I don't think I've got a bubble pee for myself. Whoops. Now do we go up? Oh, we got the bubble pee anyway. Do we go up or left? This map looks really big. Let's try going up. There's a gap there. Is that something we can jump through? Two enemies. Um, do I have to do some kind of wall bounce? Oh, no. Yeah, go that way. Huh. I love it when they attack themselves. There we have. HP. You don't get much chance to adjust the angle very well, at least. Oh, well. I don't think he took any damage anyway. It's another Bonky Kong. Let's try and bonk him into that. Yeah, there's not many angles for you to actually direct. There's like diagonal, there's one halfway in between, and then there's a, a 90 degree angle. Oh, dead. I think it's pretty funny when they bounce you into the enemy and they take damage from it. Oh no! Why did I land on there? <gasps> Wait, what? Level decreased? No way, I've never seen an RPG where your level can go down. I'm dead, okay. I get it, I'm dead. Bye. I can't believe that. So am I... level 1 now? No, I'm still level 2, okay. Maybe it's just for that fight, that would make more sense. It'd be cool if you could, like, slightly adjust the direction that you're going after you've fired off. Put a bit of spin on or something. Bubble P. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to, to be attacked by it. I assume we don't need to talk to that guy again. Ow, six damage. Let's attack him with a bubble pee. I'm enjoying this. This is a really cool battle system. It's very different to anything else. And 15 points of scrap. Oh my god. Frequent battles. Hopefully that's far enough. Yay, there we go. Let's see what's inside this guy. A claw. 
Oh, a crane. Okay. Is that thing supposed to be a crane? I need that. No! Get away from it! Okay. Oh, it's dead. I wanted to see what that was. That was new. I keep looking at the screen expecting to see chat, but there is no chat. I'm here on my own this time. Hopefully someone's watching out there. Hello, random viewer. Let me know your name in the comment comments. You destroyed the Metal Buster. I've got some scraps. Let's see where this goes. Okay, it just takes you back to that guy anyway. Oh, that guy with the lower back problem. I forgot about that. How sad. Let's go back and heal. We're not getting anywhere, are we? I didn't see what that was. Oh, okay, you can use that to find out what's on the screen. That's HP. I'll take it. I need it. And smash! And again. Smash. And again. There we go. I wonder whether you get different environments the further you get into the game. I don't really need to go back now. My health is almost full anyway. Oh my god, it's literally two steps and then you're into another fight. RC bomb. That's new. I didn't get a chance to use it. These enemies are too weak. And I guess you can just escape from the battle screen if you want by just going that way. There we go. We've got the bomb as well. I keep burping. I've only just had dinner, so I'm a bit gassy for some reason. Are you going to let me use it this time? That was a mistake for him, wasn't it? Okay, let's go for this one because it's got the question mark on it. Crane has been used. On me or against me? M ball has teleported. Why? Is that all it does? Okay. I got teleported. Wait, why? Why did that attack me? I threw him into it. That should have been him that got attacked, not me. That doesn't make any sense. Explain. Why did I die there? That was not me. That should not have been me. This game is cheating. And we still haven't got anywhere. Oh my god. Okay, we've got two people this time. I guess you can skip the fights, but then you don't get the experience points. And I'll just let him kill his friend, because that's what he does best, apparently. These enemies are so stupid. It's pretty funny. Am I gonna hit it? Okay, just about. And he is dead. The minion. I'm probably not gonna remember any of the names for these enemies. They're all like the most generic robot names ever. Six experience. What does that put us on now? We need 26 more to get to the next level. That's quite a bit. Can we get past the point before a fight? Yes. We have officially made some progress. And we can try out a new thunder move. Attack with thunder. I can't tell if we're getting more experience points than before. I think we are slightly. Interesting to have a game like this that just has the Zelda style screen swapping rather than a smooth camera. I feel like in some ways it is kind of uh, more of a budget release. It was not budget priced, let me tell you that much. Who are you? My name is Bado. I'm a core hunter. Don't forget my name, okay? I probably will, in about five minutes. What made you come to the warehouse? Looking for your father? Everyone just seems to know I lost my dad. 
Come to think of it, I saw a man looking for core units deep in this warehouse. Is that your father? He is a very strange person indeed. Okay. Let's go and find my very strange father. Okay, we have a different background. Nothing else. Seems to have changed. Interesting that there's now two orbs on the screen. Oh, it's exactly the same as the fight before. Even did the same amount of damage and everything. I always think the bottom of the screen's broken there, but it's just the uh, the information bar that's not showing up, isn't it? Or the, the window layer, I guess is the technical term for it. No, will this work on both of them, or does it pick one? It'd be good if it could do it on both. Wow, killed that one instantly. Nice. It does do it on both. Awesome. That was a very easy fight then. Do I get double the XP for it? Let's see whether I get 10. Would it be? Six. Maybe they were worth three each. So maybe that's worth it. So is this a dungeon? Is there going to be puzzles or anything? Doesn't seem to be anything to interact with outside of the fights yet. Maybe that will change. Oh wow, okay. They are weak. I was planning to bounce off him into that crane one or B Kong, Bonky Kong or whatever it was. This might take him out. Oh, we got a new one, Pebbles. I'm sure he has more than 20 HP. Yeah, that didn't do much. Is he going to go and get them ones? No, he didn't do anything. Okay. Let's push him into them then. Ready? Oh, not quite. Almost. Ah, he went into that one himself. Oh, it's only the scanner. Ah, oh, no! Uh, and I'm dead. Back to the start of the dungeon, I guess. Well, let's see where it places us. I'm assuming at the entrance to the dungeon. Yeah. No, back at the house. Okay. At least we keep the level and the experience points. Should we go and buy some more things to try and get through this dungeon? Let me see! He gets so excited. Now you can make new capsules. We can get the hammer. No? Oh, I've only got 37. I thought that said 371. We haven't got much money. Let's just get one of them scanners for now then. Alright, now we have the slow trek. All the way back up to the dungeon. There's no items or anything, so it doesn't seem like there's anything like a repel that you can use. I can see this getting kind of frustrating if you have a long way to go. Uh, I wish there was a way to fast forward or something. Why would they do that? They helped me. It's interesting, but I feel like it's a very basic execution of the ideas. Unless it gets more complicated later on. Well, it's fun. I can see it getting kind of tedious after a while. Still enjoying it, though. Definitely enjoying it. Yay, level four. Okay, and a bunch of other things. Let's save again. And burp again. Excuse me. I guess you can kind of use a little bit of strategy by um, timing it a bit better. So what do we have here? We have bubble P and HP. Let's go for the bubble P. I don't know why it's called bubble P. That's a new enemy, actually. Oh, maybe I should have tried to scan it. I assume it's going to die before I get a chance. Yeah, it's 
dead. All right, next time we'll try if we see it again. Hopefully I can keep bringing the analyzers out. I guess once you use the analyzer, then it disappears out of your items menu. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we still have it here. Okay, you can use them outside of battle as well. Let's try it. So I'm on 21 HP now. Now I'm on 41. Okay, it does work outside of battle. Cool. Let's save again. I assume it won't restart the save from there though. That's new. Yeah, come on. Ah, oh, it disappeared. Okay, that worked. Let's scan the scorpion. What does the scorpion have for us? B Scorpius! It's not a scorpion. We have slime inside the metal scorpion. For some reason, don't question it. It doesn't move very far. Can I bounce around everywhere? I wonder what the different bags were that I picked up at the start, that red and green thing. Or brown and green according to the game. I wonder whether that brown and green thing was actually um, a translation error, or whether it actually was supposed to be brown and the colours were mixed up. Who knows? Have I run out of items? I'm not getting anything. Oh, well, well there we go. Don't even need to do anything. The most basic congratulations jingle in existence. Blah, 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 blah. Bubble pee. My favourite kind of drink. I kind of look like a pea with legs, don't I? A little bit. I don't even know what that looks like. A weird tank robot. Maybe. It looks just like a um, one of those inflatable things that kids would go on. If you know what I mean. I don't even know what I mean. What am I on about? I've had a long day, okay? I'm delirious. I got another bubble pee. Yay. Can we go down there? Nope, there's just one random hole in the floor. Shows that this place is in ruins. Oh my god. What's that one? Bubble and pee! Again. Let's bubble this robot. Make it all rusty. I wonder if there is any strengths or weaknesses or anything. It hasn't mentioned anything about that. Oh yeah, that's what the crane does. He just goes somewhere else, even though the area is so small, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't understand that one. Why would you need that? More scraps. And the same fight again. What was I saying about this game? Potentially being uh, a little repetitive. I need to get more HPs up, I think. Even if we level up, it won't help. I have no items now. And only 13 HP. And we still need 68 to get to the next level. I'm dead. Well, we made it to screen 3. Is that my weird dad in the corner? Oh, these enemies are really easy. Maybe we do have a chance of getting there. Let's keep going. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping then that I'd be too far away for it to reach me. There we go. Beast goal number two is down. And we get what? Six again? Yep. Six XP. Blah, 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 blah. This one's going to kill me. Unless for some reason 
It just thinks teleporting is a good idea. Oh, wow. That was lucky. We're basically dead, though. I've got three HP left. That was lucky. And another six. All right, ready and talk. Yeah, we made it. Here it is, a core unit. Huh? Who are you? I won't allow you to have my core unit. Okay, it's definitely not my dad, then. I'll take yours instead. Hee hee hee. Oh, okay. We have an actual boss fight now. And I'm going to be dead in seconds. Oh, maybe. He's going to kill himself. Okay. Oh, that's what the skulls do, yeah. Oh my god, how am I still alive? <gasps> how am I still alive? With 2 HP. Oh my god. This is insane. Now he's gonna kill that. Am I actually gonna make it? No. There we go. Uh, I was too confident then. God damn it. Defeat one, ha ha ha. Lost. I lost. Wow, what a what an ending screen. Lost. I lost. I've been short circuited. We're back here again. Let's buy a bunch of HP power ups. Is it gonna get all excited again? Ooh, let me see. What do we have that's new? We have slime. Everything's so expensive. I can't afford any of these things. Keep buying HP and analyzers. All right, uh, let's go back again. Maybe I'll fast forward this bit, unless something exciting happens. I guess once the item's thrown onto it, if you don't want to get rid of that item, then it's best just to keep it on the stage. Alright, we are back, and I've actually got an extra HP thing that I can use, if I need to. Which I might need to, at this rate. Well, we'll see. I can't... yeah, I've already scanned that one before anyway, haven't I? Oh, there's the HP thing right there. Shall we go and get it? Just in case. I think I've got two left, so we can use this one and then still one more to fight boss. Hmm. And you missed me. Or maybe I should have gone the other way and used the thunder instead. Oh well, he's dead. And I'm pretty sure we can get back to the boss now without uh, needing to worry about health. Maybe? It's quite far, actually, for this game. Let's see what we're doing stats-wise. We, we only need 11 more to get to level 5. Maybe. 6, 12. We need to do two more fights. So. Maybe it's actually good to do this fight now. I'm pretty sure I didn't... bounce that far. Let's use it, just in case. Pretty sure I didn't bounce that far in order to come back and hit him. I wonder whether they were watching like wrestling videos or something. It kind of reminds me of when people run against the ropes and then they bounce in the other direction and hit the person. It's kind of like that, isn't it? Just with the walls not being bouncy, which doesn't make much sense why you bounce around so much. But maybe that's one of the concepts that helped them come up with this system. It's very weird. Whatever it is. See, that one didn't bounce far, but the other one did. can take them out with a bubble pee. My favourite attack. Bubble pee. Attack with bubble pee. Oh, not quite. There we go. We're going to bounce back and kill him. All right. Let's hope we've still got HP left to fight the boss with. I think I had one more lined up. So that should be level up. Oh, maybe not. Was I one off? No way. I was one off. And we don't have any HP left. Alright, we're just going to try it with 15 then. 
I don't know whether this is the right idea or not. We've certainly got more than last time. At least. I'm not really sure what the best course of action is here. Do we try and scan the main boss? He's right up next to me. Uh oh. Oh, actually, that helped. Now oh, he's going to hit that. It doesn't need scanning. We got the skull. Oh, okay, it is a new one. Did that say skull too late? Nineteen damage, pretty good. I wonder whether attacking them from different angles makes a difference as well. Whoa, okay. Send me off to kill your minion, why don't you? Oh my god, we're down to four. Pretty sure that's it for me. Well, I tried. Shall we give it one more attempt? I'm going to stock up on HP and fast forward again. Alright, we're back again. I've just used the HP and got straight back into a fight. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well we're back, we're in a fight and we have more HP than we did at the last point when we got to this point in the game, so hopefully we're in a little bit more of a chance this time, although I'm taking a lot of damage from this guy. He's really starting to annoy me. I'm not going to use another one just yet though. Let's save it for the actual battle. Here we go. We're going to be there in just a second. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Here we go. Let's try again. Let's go. We will be victorious this time. I'm going to kind of ignore them for now. Maybe... They'll just end up killing themselves. Seems like that happens quite often. This one just leveled himself down for some reason. Hmm. Told you. We don't need to worry about them. They'll take care of themselves. <laughs> Told you. They'll kill themselves. Oh, he's still alive. Oh my god. Oh, damn it! That healed him! Shoot, I didn't see what I was throwing him into! Ah! God damn it! Now he's healed himself. Oh, that's no good. Let's heal ourselves too. We can do that too! Because I bought a hundred of them. There's no chance I'm going to lose the fight this time. And there goes that random skull thing. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, I guess I have to be careful here, or else I'll bounce him. There we go, that might be good. That's a bee kong. Or it turned into a bee kong. Huh? What's going on here? So, what do we have on the board now? We have pebbles, and we have HP plus one. I don't know if I'll be able to reach the pebbles. Let's just bounce them around a bit. Oh no, now he's going to be able to use the pebbles. Maybe that was a bad idea. We're down to 13. Okay, we need to get the health this time. Why is it behind him? Yeah, push me into the health! Haha! <laughs> that worked! That's good. Now we can try and get Bubble P, my favourite power. Get in there. Let's do it again. The music's not really that great, unfortunately. Certainly not up to Pokemon standards. That 
use that. Pebbles, that should finish him off. Attack with the pebbles. Yay! It wasn't a big hong to begin with, so I don't know why he's turned into big hong. I did it! One, I did it. You destroyed the Metal Master! Got 14 experience points. And some pebbles. Oh no, I underestimated you because you're only a boy! Are you okay? The noise of a metal buster could be heard. Huh? Who is this guy? I've been asked. I've been asked a lot of questions today. Ahem. My name is Professor Hawk. I'm an authority on the research of core units. Professor Hawk, why are you here on this island? So this kid is one of your minions? He is not a minion. He is the son of Kurama Tetsuo, Tetsuo my assistant. Oh no, I must tell him about this immediately. Huh? He's gone. Who was he? He ran away as soon as he saw my face. I wonder if I look scary. He dropped something here. Buzz, the transmission has been cut off. You got the land core unit. Okay. Whatever that is. It's not here. Oh, we can... Press down and that's doing something. Okay, this is adding the land core unit. Okay, we evolved into a frog. An M frog. You can break an oil drum now. Of course. As every good M frog does. Okay, do I have to just slowly make my way out of here now? Your metal walker won't evolve unless you equip a core unit. To do this, press start and choose metal walker. Oh, I just did it. In the menu screen. And then press down and press A. It just decided to forego that. Okay, according to my research, Metal Frog can break the oil drum that's in the right... left direction, sorry. Bring the Metal Frog here and press the A button powerfully! Wow, there wasn't even an animation for it. I guess that's this game's equivalent of cut. You said that strange person has a core unit? Rats! I couldn't... I could have beaten that person easily. That core unit should be mine. Never mind, next time you won't be so lucky. By the way, what's your name? Nick. My name is... Bado. Oh. Did we not speak to him again after we died? I'm sure he already said his name because he said don't forget it, and then I said I will forget this in just a second. And I did. Well, I remembered him, but I didn't remember his name. Ooh, we've changed now. We've got a slightly bigger power meter. And we have legs! Boing! And a really big boing though. Let's use this as a shortcut. Take them out in one hit, easy. Oh no, I'm just recording it. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm doing like a light fight. Say hi. Okay. I don't know if anyone's even going to watch this, but I'm enjoying playing it. Yeah. I couldn't get the thing to work. Look at this game, it's so weird by the way. This can be part of it. So, I thought it was going to be like Pokemon, right? It looks like Pokemon, but then you get into the fight, and then it's like... Snooker? So you're this character here, and if you press B, you can see what else is on the table. So there's a minion, and there's a HP ball. So what you have to do, you have to build up a power meter and hit the enemies, and bounce them around, or if you're strong enough, you can just take them out in one hit. No, it's a real game. The Game Boy Color. Yeah, a lot of it does look very Pokemon. It's very weird. But I'm enjoying it, it's fun. It's definitely different. Yeah, so yeah, I decided to do it last time. It's been a long time. Okay, I'm gonna make tea. Back in a minute. Oh, actually, you can pause the recording. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, I think we are recording again. So for you guys, that was no time at all, but I've been away for about 10 minutes now. Got my tea. 
in a cool EV cup. And let's get back to some more Metal Walker. After I've taken my first tip, obviously. So, what do we do now? Maybe just explore a bit more? I think my cat's found a fly. He's, uh, he's going crazy in the, in the corner of the room there. So, camp one. Does that mean I've finished one dungeon? Let's try exploring to the left. We didn't go over there yet. To the swamp, I think it was? Can you hear him? Can you see him? I don't think you can see him from there. There he is. There he is! Hidden cat behind a box. I don't know what he was doing. Just crying for no reason. Like he does. He's very upset. Hi to Taito. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> what do you think of Metal Walker? I want to eat that robot. It looks like a mouse. That's what he had to say. It does look a little bit like a mouse. He wasn't wrong. What do you want? I think he wants biscuits. Come on, let me move. The encounter rate's insane in this game. Crazy. Ooh, we've got some moving water, that's nice. You don't always get moving water on these older games. I know it shouldn't be something amazing, but it's cool when you see it. Why did they do that? I don't understand some of the uh, decisions that the AI makes, if they are making any at all. Who knows? Oh, I was hoping that would bounce off the other one. Oh, okay. It still did. Cool. Why? Why not hit me? I'm right there. Whoa, 50 damage. That's good. Okay, now he wants to go up. outside. There we go. He's gone. He's happy. Or he's just sad somewhere else. Who knows? Oh my god, the encounter rate is insane. And I was right, the level designs do change slightly. I suppose you can always leave the level, but you wouldn't get the experience then, and that might make it difficult later on. Ah, oh, damn it, I threw him into the HP. That wasn't a good idea. And he got the purple attack as well. Ouch. Oh yeah, I forgot I looked different though. Oh no. Sounds dangerous. Ah! I bounced myself out of the stage. Ooh, there's treasure. Can't get to it that way, though. We can go down there into this one. I don't know if that's a good idea. Probably not. 
Yeah, that's a weird fish robot thing. Ten damage to Mr. Frog. Sounded like it was screaming then. Uh... We got a new flood ability. Ooh. Oh, we've already been there. That's just the top of the other area. Well, this is somewhere new we can go, because we can destroy that now. So that's how it blocks the progression to the different areas. Cool. Oh! Ooh, I didn't expect to die. I didn't realise I was that low on health. Blech. Short circuited. Not whited out. It's different. Honestly, Nintendo. Trust me, Nintendo. It's different. I promise. Hmm. I probably don't have enough power for this, but I wanted to try and bounce off the wall. Oh, I killed him in one hit. I didn't even get a chance to attempt it. Okay. It wouldn't have worked anyway, I don't think. Not the bubble pee. Leave my bubble pee alone. Whereabouts are we on the map? I wonder whether this map scrolls or if that's all of it. Shall we see what happens if we try and go down there? Nothing. It won't even let you attempt it. Okay. Let's not go that way. Damage. Should I just escape? Nah, we'll be okay. Let's try using this new flood attack. Wow, that worked. Okay. Worked very well, actually. 10 experience for them too. Cool. We only need 20 more. I need to go and buy like 100 more HP power-ups, I think. Alright, time to die! Uh, what's he gonna do? If he hits me, I'm dead, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I have a bit of a sad story about this game. I may as well share it. So, I have the game, uh, cart only, and uh, I found it on Amazon as a, like... To be honest, I probably read it wrong, but it said it was, like, refurbished and mint condition, so I assumed that meant it came with a box and manual as well. So I basically kind of got scammed a little bit, maybe, and paid what you would expect to... Like, it was a good price, but it was a lot more than what you would expect for the loose cartridge, which is all I received. And I ordered it from America, and it took a long time to get here. And by the time it turned up and I found out it didn't come with a boxing manual, I messaged the seller and said, I was assuming this came with a boxing manual. And they said, nope, we never mentioned box or manual. You can return it if you want. And th at that point, I was like, uh, whatever. I may as well just keep it, so... Yeah, this game was maybe a little bit more expensive than it should have been, but I'm happy to add it to the collection, and it does seem like a fun game. And maybe I'll be able to just find um, a box and manual without the cart for a good price in the future. 
and then bundle it together, perhaps. I've been thinking about doing that for some of the games that I've got cart only in the future, because I've got another game here that was a lot cheaper just to get the cartridge of. This is Bomberman Quest, and I would love to get the box and manual for that one, but it seems really hard to find. It seems actually a bit cheaper now than it was before, because I, when I saw it before, it was about £300. And there's one on eBay complete for 160 maybe? 150 160 Which is certainly a lot better. But apparently if CX ever gets it in, they sell it for like 50 So, I have alerts on. I doubt it will ever show up though. There's actually quite a few Game Boy Color games on the CX website and app that actually show up really cheap and there's just no way you would ever find them for that price. So if someone doesn't know what they've got and they randomly trade it into CEX, I have like 30 games on my GBA wish list on there, or Game Boy Color wish list, that may show up at some point in the future. Who knows? Maybe if someone doesn't know what they've got and they just trade in a bunch of things. Whenever they scan them in, I'll be the first to know. I'll get some good deals that way. Hopefully, one day. If I haven't given up by then and bought everything off eBay. I did buy a game off a um, Facebook Game Boy Collectors group recently, which is in the post right now, which should turn up soon. Harvest Moon 3 for the Game Boy Color completing box. And that is the last Harvest Moon game I need for the Game Boy series then. Oh, well, you built a new base camp. This is new. This camp has been built. Cool. Okay, is this like a checkpoint then? This is like a new... Welcome back! This is my first time ever here. If you trade the base camps with your friends, you can find something interesting. Cool. A hero like you would say a cool phrase even when you lose, wouldn't you? Yes. Oh, what's my phrase? We know what my phrase is going to be, obviously. It has to be. Got a shill somehow. Will it fit? It does fit! Oh my god. But with two exclamation marks. Of course. Subscribe? That's cool. Do it! Not so subliminal messaging. There's the healing computer. Hey kid, what did you come here for? An analyzer? And uh, a hammer, maybe? Let's try. And some health. Three lots of health. Why are some of the weapons so expensive? Is that something at the back? It is! Next base camp! Subscribe! That's what it shouts at you every time, every time you enter my camp. So, I guess at some point we learn how to move boxes. Ooh, we have a new... A new monster? Oh, it didn't last long. Maybe we won't get a chance to capture one in the future. Maybe. Whoa, okay. Wow. Got loads of XP for that. That's just a boring scorpion. Wow, well, we can kill them in one hit now. I read that as he's been turned into crap. Maybe so. There's a barrel we can crush with our frog hands. Why does that building look like it's screaming? Are these going to die in one hit? Yeah. Don't even get the chance to ricochet them around. Oh, I can bounce myself. I guess that works. And let let the enemy kill the other enemies. Okay, we have an analyzer, but I think we've already got both of them. Pretty sure we have both of those enemies already catalogued. And we took them both out at once, then. That was good.
Oh, we got a cutscene. Something new. What is going on? It's not working. You want to know what I'm doing? Yes. I tried to purify this lake with the power of the koi in it, but I failed again. The pollution of the lake is worse than I thought. See you. Okay. Oh, a lot of scrap. So I guess my job is to find a way of purifying the lake. It seems the accident that 50 years ago happened in a laboratory, and the laboratory is at the centre of this island. I wonder what caused it. Mm. Will you read the book on recipes? Okay. You can create a new capsule by mixing two capsules, but the details are unknown. What does that even mean? How can you do that? Why is the box still there? Is that... I guess if it's a skull, then that's bad for me. I think I'm a bit over... over-leveled, maybe? For this pop point in the game? All you need to do is touch them when they die. So sensitive. Let's see what happens when we touch the uh, box again. You've already taken the scrap. There's another one here. I haven't taken that one. Scan of something storm. Take it to the jump shop. You'll be able to get blown. What the? Okay. I thought this was a kid-friendly game. Some of the writing in this is so funny. I don't want to get blown in the junk shop. Oh no, Slimer. My defense has been weakened. Let's see what difference it makes. Ha! He can't even hit me anyway. Doesn't make any difference. Oh no, four damage. It hit me out of the way anyway. Hello. Is there even any point doing these fights? Yeah, you don't even get anything for that. You need marine cores to go across the sea. Depending on the number number of marine cores, the type of sea you can cross will change. By the way, one marine core is required to cross the left sea. Okay. Let's see what's in this house. Oh, wait, we didn't go in the other house, did we? I think we just went past it. Better go back and look in there after. There's no one here. Oh, is this looped back round to the start? Yeah, we've already been here before. Oh, okay. That's where that is. Right, let's go back and check the other house and then carry on up to the top, I suppose. I'm not sure how much longer I'll play. Maybe up until the next dungeon. I've got some other stuff I want to do tonight. I want to go back to looking at some Godot tutorials because I'm starting to look into making games again. So, maybe someone in the future will do a let's play of my game. That would be exciting. I've got a few plans already for the game that I want to make. Nothing set in stone yet, but I've got some exciting ideas that I'll be very happy if I can get them working. It's a boring though. I wish every game had the thing that you had in Street Pass battle fighting thing, whatever it was, the Street Pass RPG, where you can just hold the R button to fast forward everything. I love that so much. I miss Street Pass. I wonder whether they'll bring anything back like that for the Switch 2 or Super Switch or Switch DS or whatever it is. We'll find out soon and this will be a very dated Let's play. 
Oh no. Oh, no, that worked. to the house. Oh, it's just that. We've already been there. I think. Let's see what she said. I don't remember. My short-term memory is just dead. Oh, did I push him out of the room? fly on the screen in front of me. Go away! I'm trying to entertain the people of YouTube. I don't know whether it's going well or not. I doubt anyone's even watched this far. So hi, if anyone's still watching. We just killed a fish with a flood. Make that make sense. Fly really wants my tea. Leave it alone, it's mine. The map is basically useless. I was going to try and find out where I need to go. Ah, double hit. Cool. I keep looking at there, thinking the chat's there. There's no one there. Look how empty it is below me. It's weird. I was so annoyed when the stream didn't work earlier, but to be honest, I've enjoyed doing this Let's Play style video. It's been a while since I've done anything like this. I used to love doing Let's Plays so much back in college. I'd be thinking about it all day and I'd be so excited to get home and just sit down and play a random retro game and record. There's so many that aren't even like on the channel anymore that I just thought were so bad, but I've still got the files. Somewhere. There was one that I did for Klonoa on the GBA, but it really didn't go very well. I didn't think it was good, because back then I just had to point the camera at the screen. And when I was living in a house with other people, I was really nervous about recording and then hearing me. For whatever reason, so I was sort of like whispering, and it was really bad. We found a cave. Uh, there was another one, Kirby64, I think. And a bunch of other ones that I never uploaded. And then there was one that I was really enjoying doing, and for whatever reason I just stopped. I was planning to do a 100% uh, playthrough of Yoshi's Island. I can't remember why I stopped doing that one. No! The enemy went into the attack. That's not fair. And we've been short-circuited again. Okay, I thought it might. It restarts us here. That's not too bad, then. Let's go back. Let's see what happens if we try and push this. It's no use. Oak's words rang throughout your head. It's no use. I don't think he says that. Oh, I should have just... Should have just aimed straight up, then. I could have killed him in one go. Won't leave me alone. I shouldn't have opened the window. We kind of get the gist of the game now. I assume it's just this on a loop for the next 20 hours or so. Let's see if we can get anywhere this time. Oh, we saw another screen. There's a guy in here. 
And there's only one of them, though. Aha! Perfect! Let's see him get analysed. Hmm. Hmm? They already have it? Get blown! What did it do? It just took me out of the fight. Okay. Leads you to the energy plant, but you need two sky core units to go across the hole. Oh, okay. So we can float. That's new. There's some new ideas still coming up in this end. Why do I bounce so hard sometimes, but other times I just stop? Look at that! I, like, bounce three times then. Doesn't make any sense. Can someone explain why? A new one. We have a HP thing up there too. Oh, am I dying? I don't think I need to worry too much when that sound comes because I've got loads more HP than I used to. Oh no. Maybe I do need to be worried. Worried. Level decreased. Oh no. I'll be fine. I can use that if I really wanted to. Ah! How did I end up going straight through them? He's gonna kill that now. Huh. Is that it? No. I can use that hammer thing. Is it gonna bounce me into it? He killed himself. Well done. Ooh, that was close. I don't think anything happens after the enemies have all died anyway, so there's nothing to worry about, really. 36 experience points for that. That was good. Let's see. We do have HP. Let's use it. And we need 100 more XP to get to the next level. Huh? That was a weird transition. Okay, we came out of that house, apparently. That wasn't clear. Oh, you look familiar to me. I'm Emil Krauser, the daughter of the president of Krauser Corporation. We've met you before. Will you do me a favour? Okay. You can't refuse my commission, can you? There's an old man I know in the left building. Will you deliver something from him to me? Alright. What? From him? Deliver something from him? Why can't she just go there herself? Oh, why is that taking off so much damage to me? Oh! Okay, that would hurt! If I headbutted that! Straight on! Yikes. Do I need to worry? Don't tell me he was in here. There's a few bombers here. HP! Refill. Oh no. Good job I picked the HP up. Oh wow, that took off a lot of damage. I didn't think it would take off 50. Are we going to get any more HP? Uh, I'm dead. Maybe we'll leave it there for part one. I don't know whether there will be a part two. Let me know if you would like a part two and I can always play it again, but if not, I might end up playing this game offline anyway, on my own, on the analog pocket. I've been really enjoying it, actually. A very nice surprise. So thank you all for joining me for a unexpected Let's Play. It's been a while, and I'll see you all again very soon. And let me know whether you would like more Let's Plays as well, because I do enjoy making these as well as streaming. So let me know down in the comments. If anyone made it to the end of the video, I will be very impressed. And I will see you all again soon. Goodbye.